visiting St Nick just in the nick of time. Hundreds of local children have been taking the opportunity to let Santa know what they want for Christmas. And so far, there's been several trends emerging. I think our, my Danish elves in, uh, will be very busy with Lego this year. Um, so many have asked for it. Even, the, even the, a lot of the girls have been asking for it. We've had lots of prams and bicycles, um, Nerf guns. Uh, mm, there's quite a few others. He's pleased to see children foregoing technology in favour of more active presents like bicycles and scooters. While it's been enjoyable spending time with locals ahead of Christmas, the recent hot weather has been a challenge for the North Pole native. The reindeer got real heat stressed. Yes, they, they were not happy at all. Um, but um, having, you know, having dressed up for the North Pole, it's, it can be a bit rough. But Dunedin's made up for it by being such a hospitable place. It's beautiful. Toitu's annual Pixie Town exhibition is also back for another year, featuring displays dating back over 70 years. It's been proving popular with both adults and children alike. This year, staff are leaving it up post-Christmas to allow more people to visit. But there's one person who won't be sticking around. Me and Mrs Claus, we're off. We're off to, to Scandinavia. We're going to do some sightseeing on the glaciers while they're still there. And we're going, just going to have a lot of fun. There's still a lot of work to be done before Santa can head off on holiday, with plenty of local children eager to put in their last minute gift requests. But it's nothing compared to the busy night that awaits him tomorrow. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.